the, what Rumpelstiltskin means. So they think that the origin was from a children's game. And it literally translates to um, a pole, like a stilt being a pole, that, one that like provides structure that is noisy, like rattling posts and wrapping on planks. So Rumpelstiltskin right. is thought to have been um, like a, a goblin of sorts uh, that makes loud noises. And it is close to Rumpelgeist, which is a rumple ghost, which in our vocabulary translates to poltergeist. A lot of fairy tales also that we're used to and that are most popular have happy endings, you know, happily ever after. And, after. and this actually, it seems like it's happily ever after for the queen and the king because they get to keep their baby. And yet, mm -hmm. and yet, something happens that I feel is very indicative. As you said, in the end, Rumpelstiltskin stomps and he gets one foot stuck in the earth or in the floor. And mm -hmm. then he stomps and he's trying to get that leg out and he stomps again. And mm -hmm. he actually breaks the floor. And so mm -hmm. how I see it is he's breaking the foundation of the, the palace, of the castle. And mm. you can say then that as uh, happily ever after it may look like it really isn't. He has literally broken the foundation of their marriage and of the kingdom because they would not engage in reciprocity. They were just, they both became so greedy and so self-centered mm. mm -hmm. that they forgot that a promise is a promise. For more fairy tale flip insights like this, please press like and subscribe.